So a few days ago, YouTube has officially announced on Twitter that they will start taxing people living outside of the US, making money from the US, which basically means that if you are a YouTuber, you're like, I am outside of the US, I'm based in Belgium, but I have an audience and 60% of that is from the United States. They will actually start taxing your earnings. And of course, you already probably have received an email, you have heard about it on the news, or you saw a notification on your dashboard that you have to fill in this tax form in your AdSense accounts. And if you're with a network, they will, of course, take care of that. This is actually a very important topic because if you're not going to fill in your tax form on time by May 31st, YouTube is going to default not only on your revenue made from the USA, but on your entire paycheck. All the views combined, they will take out up to 24% in taxes. So make sure to also go and follow this video step by step in order to not make any mistakes and also to submit your form as quick as possible so that you're not running late or forget about it so that you don't get taxed the maximum amount which is 24 percent which is about a quarter of your entire earnings for just not filling that in so if you guys are wondering how to fill in this tax form make sure to smash the like button down below subscribe if you're here for the very first time watching so let's go ahead and start filling in this tax form right after the intro All right, guys. So as you can see right now, I also let out the face cam in this video because it's quite important that I'm not going to distract you guys with going full screen on and on because tax information is very valuable. It's necessary to fill this in accurately. So I'm not going to distract you guys with the face cam. So as you can see right now on my dashboard, I have to blur a couple things, of course. So how this essentially works is before I'm going to show you how to fill in this form and how to use all the proper information, I'm going to first give you a little bit more of a story, like what this actually means for you. And also, I want to mention any questions that you guys have. I'm not going to try to answer any questions in this video. Otherwise, it, this video will be way too long. So what I'm going to suggest you guys to do is any kind of question, no matter what you have, please let me know down in the comments and I'll be taking my time to respond to every single comment. I can imagine you have a ton of questions, for example, like how much am I going to get charged? How much money do I need to make in order to get charged? Am I going to get charged if I make only $10? All these questions I can imagine you guys would have. Please drop them down in the comments and I'll be looking into them. So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to go to our Gmail and right here we have a statement from YouTube and I'm first going to read out. Of, of course, I'll leave all the timestamps in the description down below. See so if you already knew this email and you know everything about it and you just want to know how to fill in this form, please check out the description for the timestamps to jump straight to the filling out form. If you guys already know this for the people that are wondering that are new watching for the very first time, let's go ahead and read out this and actually get it clear what YouTube is doing right now. So it says, we're reaching out because Google will be required to deduct U.S. taxes from payments to creators outside of the U.S. later this year, as early as June 2021. Over the next few weeks, we'll be asking you to submit your tax info in AdSense to determine the correct amount of taxes to deduct, if any apply. If your tax info isn't provided by May 31st, 2021, Google may be required to deduct up to 24% of your total earnings worldwide. What they actually mean by this is that they will not deduct 24% of your earnings from only the U.S but from your entire paycheck guys so if you're not going to submit your form by may 31st or before may 31st they're going to take 24 percent of your total earnings no matter which country the revenue is made from so not only the us what do i need to do in the next few weeks you will receive an email to submit your tax information in adsense the online tax tool in adsense is six steps and will ask you a series of questions to guide you through the process to determine if any us taxes apply for more information on these changes and list of tax info to prepare, visit or help center. So of course this works differently because if you are signed with a network, right here you can clearly see that I'm signed with each network for almost five years. Of course they manage AdSense and the payment goes through them. So if you are with a network guys, please reach out to your partner manager to follow up. But if you're just with Google AdSense without any network, this video can be really, really helpful to you too because of course you have to fill in the info yourselves as nine out of 10. If you're with a network, your network will ask you just a couple details details, for example, your info and all that to fill that in for you. Okay, so recently on Twitter, the bomb exploded and people are always wondering this specific question, why is this happening? Why do I need to pay taxes to a country I don't live in, I don't work in, I don't have anything to do with? Because I can understand people in the UK are saying like, all right, I'm living in the UK and I'm already paying taxes on the earnings I receive from YouTube in the UK because every country has taxes, of course, because I'm also just paying between 30 and 45% in tax 
taxes from the earnings from YouTube. So why do I need to pay double taxes in Belgium and in the US? And right here it says Google has the responsibility under chapter three of the US internal revenue code to collect tax info from all monetizing curators outside of the US and deduct taxes in certain instances when they earn income from viewers in the US. So this basically means that if you are making money from people that are watching your videos and the ads are playing in the US, you will be taxed on that. For creators outside of the US, we will soon be updating our terms of service where your earnings from YouTube will be considered royalties from a US tax perspective. This may impact the way your earnings are taxed and are required by US laws. Google will deduct taxes. How will my earnings be impacted? If you provide your tax info, US taxes may be only applied to your monthly US earnings from AdSense. So this basically means that depending on how much you make, Google will of course take, for example, 10% of the earnings you make from the US. So I looked in my analytics guys and about 62.5% from all my views per month coming from YouTube. So I'm assuming they will take a certain percent of my money that is made from the US viewers. Revenue earned from viewers in the US through ad views, YouTube premium, super chat, super stickers and channel memberships. So everything will be taxed from the US guys. It's not only your views, but of course, when you're going live, people are using super chats, everything will be taxed when it's coming out of the US. And then right here, they stated again, if no tax for is provided, your tax rate may default to the higher individual backup withholding rate, 24% of total earnings worldwide to estimate the potential impact on your earnings. Follow these instructions. Thanks, the YouTube team. All right, guys. So right here, we also have this support page that I will also leave down in the description if you click on this link right here. But of course, I'm not going to go into all of that. You guys can read it if you have still more questions about it. So let's move on to the actual tax form that I have in my email. All right, guys. So how do you get to submitting your tax info? to Google. First, you're going to go to your AdSense account. So I'm going to just open up in this one in a new tab. And then we need to click on payments, manage settings, and then we see the United States tax info. All right, so this is my AdSense account. So as you can see right here, it says important check if additional tax information is required from you. All YouTube creators and partners are required to submit tax information to ensure any applicable taxes on your payments are accurate. Okay, so I'm going to click on manage tax info. And then we will see, of course, the form with all the six steps that YouTube were actually stating in the email. So to get payouts from Google, make sure that you provide your tax information. This will take just a couple minutes. Then right here, it says add tax info. Now I've seen tweets from people on Twitter replying to YouTube saying this blue button isn't clickable for them. It's grayed out. I have no idea at the point of recording why that is. Maybe people are earning not enough money in order to get taxed. I'm not completely sure, guys. Don't hold me to it. I'll be doing research in it. And if you guys have questions about this grayed out button on your end, and I'll be able to respond why this button would be grayed out for you. Right here, you know, United States tax info. What type of account is Alexander Halford? Of course, it's my business one. So I'm going to click on individual, but I do want to mention I'm right now filling in this form, but I'm not going to actually submit it to Google because I want to have my network take care of it. So, so right here, it says, are you a citizen or resident of the United States? Right now, I, I'm not. So I'm going to hit no because I'm based in Belgium. I'm going to hit next. Select your W8 tax form type. Based on your previously selected answers, a W8 form is needed. Now, right here, they gave me two options. Now, here's where it get a little bit complicated, guys, because of course, when I received this email, I immediately ringed up my accountants. And of course, I have to also forward this email to him. So right here, what they actually state is this form is most commonly used by non US individuals, and would be also used to claim tax treaty benefits. Now, what does tax treaty mean? Now, if your country has a deal with the US, you can actually get your tax number to be zero, because you can actually deduct the amount Google will take, for example, from your own taxes that you pay in your country. So right here, it says a WA ECI. This form is most commonly used by a non-US business entity or individual that earns income related to the US trade or business and files US income tax return. But I just need to fill in this one because I think Belgium has a tax treaty with the US. So I'm going to pick this one. Guys, I don't want you to make any mistakes. If you guys still aren't sure about these two, please ring up your local accountant's office or a lawyer or basically anything that knows about this. I'm not an accountant. I do have an accountant myself just because I don't have enough knowledge about these stuff. And this is just to show you guys how this form works. So right here, we have to start our W8 EN form. So I'm going to click on there and then it's going to ask us questions in this form. So right here, it says name of individual. So I filled in my name. So right here, it says DBA doing business as name or disregarded entity. So right here, you have to fill in your 
your name or the entity of your company. So let's say that this is your official name and that you have, for example, a YouTube channel. You have to fill in something different than your name because if I click on this icon, company name different from the owner's name, country of citizenship. So I'm going to pick, of course, Belgium. And right here, I have to fill in my taxpayer identification number. So right here, I have to fill in my foreign one. This basically means that I have to fill in my tax number from Belgium that I use to make, for example, purchases for my company. So this one is what I got when I made my company back in 2017 that was generated by the database where all the companies are held. So I'm going to fill that in right now. Okay, so I have to blur this number. Of course, my accountant is going to have a go at me. But right here, it says US ITIN or SSN. So this is not what I have. I don't have a company registered in the US. So I can't fill this in because I don't have right here a number like this one because right here it says BE from Belgium. So I'm just going to skip this one. So I'm going to hit next. So right here, you have to fill in your address, of course, your town, your city, your area code. So I'm going to fill that in right now. So right here, you have to just fill in your address. Of course, I have to blur all of that. So I'm going to hit next as well when your address and your area code and everything is filled in. Okay, so right here, you have to check basically if you have your tax treaty or not. Now, you don't have to necessarily call up an accountant office, for example, to check if this is the case, because you can actually Google, for example, like, does India have a tax treaty with the US? Does the UK have a tax treaty with the US? No matter which country you're in, you can just simply Google this. So this is what I just did, guys. Does Belgium have a tax treaty with the US? The US Belgium tax treaty was signed in 2006. So I'm going to go back to the form. And right here, we do have a tax treaty. So I'm going to click on yes. Resident of country claiming treaty with the US. I'm going to click on here. And then I'm going to pick, of course, Belgium again. You may be exempt or have tax withheld at a reduced rate on certain income types earned with the US. These reduced rates and exemptions vary among countries and specific income types. Select all that apply to you, you can claim any future income types that you may plan to earn from Google products. So right here, of course, it says services AdSense. So I'm going to check on that one because I do have to mention that, for example, this one, motion picture, MTV, other copyright, YouTube, Google Play. This might, for example, have something to do with if you have an app in the Google Play Store and you're making money from that app, for example, you also have to check on this one. But I don't really have any other sources from AdSense generating money from the US than just YouTube views and all that. So this is basically what I have to check. You can also also just look up what this exactly is and then the withholding rate can be for example zero reduced rate or 30 you have to look into that i'm not going to fill that in at this point as a tax resident of the country identified in the tax identity section the individual identified in the tax identity section meets the requirements terms of the treaty doesn't have a permanent establishment in the u.s and doesn't perform independent personal services in the u.s from a fixed base in the u.s so you have to basically just check this one and then i'm going to click on next so then they will generate this document for you and then you have to just go and wrap up and then you have to go and wrap up everything. So if I'm going to click on, I confirm that I have reviewed the generated tax documents to the best of my knowledge. And I believe they are true, correct and complete. You can check this one. So then I'm going to, for example, click on next. It's going to apply this, but I'm not going to do it because I first have to check in with my accountant, with my network, with people that know a lot more about this before I actually submit something like that, because I'm just going through this form just to make this video and not to officially fill this in for my tax info. So this is basically how it all works, guys. If you have more questions please let me know down in the comments all right guys so that's it for this video this is how you fill in the tax form now that you guys have followed all the steps there's nothing more to do but just wait and see which kind of bracket you will be placed in because of course if you're gonna make for example a hundred dollars a month they're not gonna put you in the highest bracket like youtubers that would be in that will make for example like ten or fifteen thousand dollars a month on youtube so let me know in the comments down below what kind of bracket you are in how much percentage are they taking from your earnings is this a fair deal that people from the outside of the US have to pay taxes to a country that they don't work or live in? We're working and living outside of the US. So is it a logical way? Because you're already paying taxes on your earnings that you receive in your own country. So let me know down in the comments, guys. That's all for you guys today. And I'll see you guys, obviously, in the next video.